The O word, obese, is a slur. Spread this post. <laughs> Shit, like anybody's gonna spread. Oh my god. Reminder that diabetes is a made-up illness. Doctors used to shame women for their weight and take their money. <coughs> oh my god. 81% of girls aged 9 would rather lose their parents, get cancer, or be in a war than be fat. We do so much damage to our children by promoting the thin ideal. There are better ways to raise our children. Okay, Miss Anonymous Tweet, you tell me how to parent my children. Okay, if a child has an eating disorder to which that they become diabetic, it's an issue. I have to step in. I'm being a bad parent by letting them eat what they want. If I was a if I was a parent, if I had a whole kid, like I said before, I'm taking the chicken nuggets away. You're not I'm not going to let this just happen. I'm not going to let you just become fat cuz that's a bad thing on my part. I'm being a bad person. I'm being a bad parent. The only thing complimenting someone's weight loss achieves is reveal how truly little you valued who they were before. Oh lord, that is not true. Okay, so if I have a friend who was obese, and they worked hard to lose their weight, of course I'm going to mention how better they look and how better they must be feeling. It's not an insult going up to somebody who you care about, who's made a positive change in their body, in their life, and then mentioning that change. I'm confused on where that's offensive. Alright, you guys can let me know in the comments below how that could be misconstrued as some sort of hate crime. I don't see it. I just don't see it. No, it isn't. You can't control your weight, and someone not being interested in you based on your weight alone is fat phobic. I'm naturally fat, and I've dealt with so much fat phobia in the dating world because I refuse to try to conform to societal standards on weight. Stop you there, because that doesn't make sense. How do you expect people to want to engage with you in, in a long-term relationship, but you don't even want to do the bare minimum of participating in the society in which that other person lives in? So that, that doesn't make sense. You can't be like, no, I'm going to put tattoos all over my face and be mad that I can't have a job. That doesn't make sense. I just don't understand people who say being fat is not healthy, like please. There's so many people who are skinny and eat junk food and snacks and chocolate all the time and don't even get a gram heavier because they have a high metabolism and they work out. You have neither of those, sweetie, so you cannot eat those foods. You, you realize the difference, right? There's no health in being obese or being heavy. If you have ex an excess amount of weight, that's not healthy. I. I What's missing? I, I don't understand what these people are missing about, like, being fat. I just, I don't know anymore. I, I've been trying to solve this equation, and it's not, the, the math isn't adding up. Erase the words obesity epidemic from your vocabulary. Demonetization of fat bodies is a classic scapegoating tool employed by governments. When they talk about the obesity epidemic, they're using coded language to get you to blame systematic societal problems, poverty, crime, climate change on poor communities and communities of color. <laughs> Sweetie, you're wrong. You're incorrect. That doesn't, all of your conspiracy theory is ridiculous. Nobody's going to change the vocabulary to save your stupid ass feelings. I'm tired of this. No, get rid of this word. Get rid of that word. Obesity is a slur. Shut the fuck up. Really? You're, you're just upset that everybody dislikes your body and that you're not able to live, you're not be able to have a happy life because of it. Your choices are your choices, sweetie. The reason why you're upset or depressed or tired or overworked is because of what you've made of what choices you made you realize that right changing the vocabulary isn't going to affect that in any way especially telling other people that they're using coded language to i don't know try to be bigoted or or discriminatory against communities of color how how does that make sense fat phobia is a bigger issue than skinny shaming because fat phobia affects thin people too Thin people who want slash need to gain weight still do not want to be fat. No shit! They just want to make sure they're healthy. Thin people who are actively working out don't necessarily want to lose too much weight. Because if you lose, if you gain too much weight in excess, that's bad. If you lose too much weight in excess, that's also terrible. So these people are trying to maintain a healthy weight. I love how this fat, this person is trying to, you know, absorb thin people into their self-hate because they realize that not only that your uh, your group is diminishing, so you need some new members, but also misery loves company. And the fact that these, I guess, thin people are happier probably messes with this individual. So yeah, let's include the thin people. Let's try to get them into our self-hating zone of fat phobia and fat activism. 
Some stuff about having skinny friends as a fat girl. My friend is a thin girl, but she has a bigger butt slash boobs and a small waist. This is what most men think of as curvy. Uh, because that's what it is, sweetie. That That's curvy. Having a tight waist, a whole lot of ass, and a lot of titties. That's curvy. Uh, you looking like a sphere, being completely large in all places, just makes you fat. Okay, let's go to the next one. She thinks it's quirky and okay to call herself fat in front of me as though she's waiting for me to say, No, you're not. Look how big I am compared to you. You may have a point. You could have a friend who's a little um, not aware of herself, so she might just be trying to get that you know attention off of you, that little bit of feedback. But do it. You're a friend with her, right? Right? Okay, next one. Whenever we go out, guys always pick her out of the group and try to talk to her. Yes, because she's pretty. You're probably ugly as fuck. Next one. She doesn't understand that it. this hurts me. It's not that I want to be chased by men. That is that I now know I'm not good enough. It's like when you're in a gym class and you're the last person to be picked into a group. Th that's what... Boy. You. Yeah, okay, you're a little bit aware of the fact that your fatness is ugly in a turnoff a dick repellent i get it you, you just lose the weight trust me guys are very simple we don't really care that much we care the things we do care about matter like weight and like being kind of pretty but after that it doesn't really matter so to, literally if you just lose weight somebody's going to want to fuck you it's okay next one she doesn't understand what it's like to be a bigger girl when going to clubs or parties uh, that doesn't mean anything sweetie next one she doesn't understand why i just don't talk to guys and dance with them like she does uh, well that's a bad thing on your part okay if you're not willing to lose the weight at least try to date somebody or try to talk to anybody but if you don't want to do that much i don't think you quite have an argument next one it's because i'm not confident i'm constantly being compared to her i'm the duff to every guy there too bad sucks to suck the duff life chooses you you don't choose the duff life that's just how it works she doesn't understand what it's like to be a fat girl in the world made for skinny girls that aw, are you so poetic oh boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin how do i get my doctor to stop fat shaming me i don't know take his advice he's not fat shaming you he's just trying to make sure you're healthy by telling you to lose weight all I see are people who are skinny talking about how they need to lose weight, and it just makes me feel completely awful about myself, because here I am, nearly 300 pounds, barely able to lose weight because I have an autoimmune disorder that makes me gain 30 pounds within a day, even without eating at all. If that's true, I feel sorry for you, and which means you just gotta work harder than everybody else. Sitting on your ass and doing nothing isn't going to help your situation, and I get it. Seeing other people talking about how they have to lose weight kind of makes you feel bad, but just try if you do that much trust me something's going to happen you're going to change if you can only expect your life to change if you do something upon it you got to act upon it life doesn't change for you you change life dear susan i understand you don't mean it but your diet talk is causing other women to question their worth your diet talk is making other women question their food choices your diet talk is making other women believe that they need to be smaller and by the way your diet is going to fail you but that's not because you're a failure you are doing everything that diet is asking of you it's just that your diet was set up for failure our bodies have our own what's wrong with you girl it, it, whoever wrote this you conceited motherfucker I understand I can already tell you're 400 pounds and you just hate Susan and how she likes to diet and how she's gonna change her life how about you fucking sack up and change yours instead of sending this passive-aggressive bullshit letter to an individual who couldn't care less about you uh, I think this post is pretty self-explanatory yup in my experience a lot of fat women like having fat friends because we're not competition when we date someone conventionally attractive the tables turn really fast I don't think that's a thing. I think that's just from television. Nobody really does that unless you have really shallow friends who are like, I'ma just be friends with ugly people so that I can get dates, which is super extra. I don't think this is real. When people say they want to lose weight, they often mean I want to be respected, I want to be loved, and I want to be seen. I want liberation from fear and self-loathing weight loss culture will never give us those things because it's founded on fear hate-based systems like sexism racism classism and ableism huh all of those talking points sound really familiar hmm it's probably from some idiot i don't fucking know 
Oh, here we go again with a fat person not cooperating in the medical room. How are you going to ask for help from a doctor and be like, I don't weigh myself due to history of an eating disorder. Like, leave the hospital. Leave the clinic if you don't want help. Never trust a doctor that lectures you on weight with every visit. Once is more than enough. And honestly, I need to eat more. Whatever you need to say, sweetie. I don't want to read the rest. This is just two for two. Two for two for people don't who don't want to go to the do uh, doctor because they're too fat or they feel that they're going to be embarrassed. Like, don't you want to help yourself? Jesus. The New York Times. Any weight loss can be healthy, but more can be much better. Overweight people who lost 5 to 10% of their body weight lowered their risk of metabolic syndrome by 22%. Those who lost 20% cut the risk by over 50%. You know what? That sounds like a pretty, you know sensible article no way could someone be completely angry oh my god that's a fucking paragraph miss me with that shit you know what i think this person has a lot of free time i, I would think so because uh they have a serious amount of time to write this stupid ass paragraph about how she doesn't like this article you know you can use that time to lose weight right i'm just saying i i, I could be totally wrong about that I hate skinny girls that can't dress like every store has your size there's no reason for that okay that's kind of funny uh, that's kind of funny uh, I will laugh I won't roast it you you get one every video gets one dating as a fat girl is constantly wondering if a guy would like you more if you lost 40 pounds despite knowing that you wouldn't want to date that piece of shit that only likes a thin version of you anyway Oh, that's so sad. Man, it's almost like people are held up to standards, some some physical standards in order to have relationships. I understand that girls shouldn't have to apply. They shouldn't have to have that, you know, burden. But dudes have that burden. So you will have that burden. Fat people just aren't pretty. I'm sorry. That's the word you live in. Oh, shit. Titties and pussy. Gotta go ahead and censor that. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I love being skinny. Yeah, you are pretty skinny, sweetie. Ugh, sad. And I thought you were such a nice artist. So shallow. There's so much more beyond being skinny. So, okay. Let me let you do the breakdown here. All of these comments are about how this artist or whatever, this picture person was a model. That's what I was trying to say. Model. She was she posted this of her putting her hands around her waist and she was like, oh, I love being skinny. Oh, my gosh, I worked out. Everybody and everybody who's fat and disgusting is just roasting her picture. So, yeah, there you go. That's the Internet. That's the world we live in where you can't, you know, praise yourself. If you're it's the wrong type of praise, like you can't you can't be proud and white. You can't be proud and skinny. You sure as hell can't you, you can't be proud and male. So, yeah, that's the world we live in. Finished another hospital appointment to get birth control pills and got told I won't be able to get them if I don't lose weight the next time I try to get some. You realize that birth control pills, like, they thin your, they can cause blood clots. And if you're giant and enormous, that means losing limbs. So the doctor was trying to keep you alive and also trying to keep his job. So yeah, this is a great way to end this today. Let me let y'all know something. If you are overweight, you please exercise. And please take everything that your doctor says with all the sincerity. Take it with all sincerity because they're trying to save your life. So if you're going into a doctor's office and you're like, oh, my gosh, he keeps on talking about my weight when there could be a connection to whatever sickness you have and you being 400 pounds. They're trying to help you out. There is there there is no win in a doctor trying to hurt you. You, you realize that, right? Jesus, sometimes, man. It's crazy. What's up? It's your boy Aileris, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I really enjoy doing the Fat Logic stuff. It's a lot of fun, and holy shit, has the channel grown? We've grown 80 subscribers since we started doing this series, and thank you so much. I am very appreciative to all of your support. Uh, it really makes what I do a lot easier. And if you want to talk to me or anybody else about how the channel works and stuff and what you want to see go ahead and go into the discord it's down below it's always been and uh yeah see you next time